Hello again, this is Dr. Tom with uh, Lesson 1 for Week 11, uh, which is on uh, welding symbols here. Uh, these are ones that are based on the American Welding Society standards, so uh, let's get started. Okay, the uh, standard location of elements of a weld symbol uh, is, is sort of a, a complex uh, figure, so let's uh, let's build this one uh, one sort of thing at a time. Uh, first, uh, you have your uh, reference line there, uh, horizontal, and then an arrow line. It could have been up, I uh, just made it down. So those are your two basic things. You'll always have uh, have those two elements. Then what you'll have is uh, weld symbols, and in the uh, and again this is just using the, the notation from the American Welding Society. They use uh, 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 braces here uh, to represent uh, any particular sort of weld symbol: a fillet weld, a groove bevel, those kinds of things. And what this particular thing is saying is that if the if the symbol is on the arrow side, uh, then that's where the weld is placed. Uh, if uh, on the bottom of the line uh, of the reference line where the arrow is, if it's on the other side. From, from where the arrow is, then uh, then it's on the opposite side. So this comes into play when you've got two, but potentially two different sides uh, to weld, and that uh, can we'll show that here a little bit better here in a in another slide here. Okay. Now, if uh, you want uh, uh, the the uh, the weld to be on both sides, then then the symbol is on top and bottom, and they've just put it over here on the left here, uh, out of the way. And again, they, they, it took me a while to realize that uh, the braces are. are to represent some some well symbol here okay so that's just that's what those are okay then uh, you can have uh, what's referred to as the tail uh, and in there can be uh, various kind of specifications processes other kinds of references that need to be uh, made about it uh, but it is usually of course omitted if there isn't any reference so a lot, many uh, many well symbols do not have that but if they do uh, then that's where you put that kind of information then a uh, very uh, common uh, symbol is the circle there at the junction between the reference line and the arrow, and it means uh, weld all around, and uh, that's a very important one, and uh, so you'll see that uh, commonly. And then uh, if uh, uh, the weld is to be done in the field, not in the shop, then they will have this uh, flag uh, field weld. And of course, depending on what side uh, the weld is, that could either be up or down, but I've showed it up just uh, well, based on the way it's shown in the uh, um, AWS uh, standards there. But that's the, f the flag, and that actually is uh, uh, the basis of one of the um, NCES uh, practice exam problems. And so uh, definitely, definitely an important symbol uh, to to recognize. Then if uh, the uh, the weld is not continuous, then uh, you may have an L-P, where L is the length of the weld, and P is the pitch or center uh, center to center spacing. I'll show you that a little bit more here in an example here shortly with that. Okay. Then down below, down below is the end, the number of spot uh, seams, stud, those kinds of things. So that, that can be uh, on the diagram. Uh, over on the left, uh, you can have uh, groove well sizes and maybe the depth of the bevel or uh, certain other kinds of things. I'll show you one in which uh, where you have the angle and the depth of the of the um, the bevel or V groove uh, kind of kind of well. Uh, all that information goes kind of there. And then uh, finally, uh, some uh, extra information that uh, probably not going to see on the uh, exam, uh, but uh, the F for finishing, uh, contour symbol, groove angle kind of thing, and then the root opening of the depth of the filling. So you may see some of that kind of thing uh, in a real uh, situation, but I have a feeling uh, they're, they're really after uh, in the exam for the sort of the basics uh, of, uh, of well symbology here. So, but, but I wanted, this is, this is sort of a redo of uh, what you would uh, download from the uh, website for uh, American Welding Society and uh, and so I had kind of felt like it needed to be built uh, one little element at a time. Okay, using the uh, fillet as an example, it's going to be your most common uh, well, the one that uh, they're going to have you calculate the stress in because it's uh, uh, straightforward in terms of how to do that. Um, so the fillet, fillet well, and uh, you have arrow side, so notice that the symbol's on the bottom, and so in these two pieces, you've got the um, the, the uh, fillet well, a little uh, tr black triangle there on, on the, this side of that um only on this side of that junction 
there, the, the two uh, pieces coming together here. Uh, if you wanted it on the other side, then you would have the, uh, the fillet well symbol on the top of the reference line with the arrow pointing down. And then uh, if you wanted it on both sides, then you would have uh, the fillet symbol on both sides. So that's how uh, that uh, uh, arrow side, other side, both sides works. Okay. And that's a favorite. Okay. That's, that's, that's going to be one. Uh, okay. That's actually in uh, one of the civil, uh, civil engineering um, practice exams. Uh, this is almost exactly the uh, question. Okay. Which, which one of the following, which well symbol goes with which of the following? So, uh, so definitely you might, you might see that somebody's, uh, somebody likes that kind of a problem. Okay, then uh, there's lots of others, and these are the symbols that uh, were used on, on the um, download uh, sheet that I had. Uh, uh, they all seem to have the S words except for one, but we've got slot. Sometimes it's called a plug, and I put them all on the arrow side here. Um, so that's one type uh, symbol for spot, circle, uh, seam, circle with two lines, a bead, which is also backing, a bead kind of a weld uh, on top, and uh, so you see both of those words again. And and then a, a stud type well, so you see those kind of things. Uh, but uh, but some of the most um, common are groove wells. All of these are groove where you have a, a square where you have uh, two pieces butted up and you're doing kind of a square type well. Uh, then the uh, the bevel, which is uh, the one that's in the uh, practice exam. Um, uh, that symbol and notice it's sort of a, the upside down of the fillet with the uh, the opening on the other side. So you got to be careful there. Then you can see the V, the V groove uh, type well that's down there. And that could be again on either side or both sides, uh, depending on it. Then the J is just makes a different kind of cut for the well in order to, to have the junction. And so that's uh, uh, that symbol. And then you can also have a U, just a little different kind of a shape. Again, uh, how you uh, carve out a, a place for uh, for the well to, to kind of fill in and, uh, and join the two materials. Okay. So lots of different, uh, lots of different symbols. Okay. Well, let's look at a couple of examples to kind of uh, uh, look at some of the how uh, a little bit more complicated than you may see. But uh, uh, to me, I felt like I, I needed to, to to use some of these here. Uh, what you see here is your V groove well, and the uh, the groove uh, designation angle is uh, 60 degrees. Uh, yeah, might you can, might should have had that on both sides because you you could maybe have it different between the top and the bottom, but probably not. So so it's uh, at a 60 degree the actual symbol is 90 you can see the the way the the V groove is is a 90 degree symbol but actually I'm putting in there what's going to actually be 60 degrees and then the 3 8 and 1 quarter probably should have had inches on there um, is the uh, the one quarter is on the well side and what you see is two two pieces of material uh, with the line there and then in which we're talking about is we want to put a, a V groove weld and what that says is it ought to be one quarter of an inch deep on the arrow side and three eighths on the uh, opposite side so what does that kind of look like okay so uh, I've now kind of changed the X uh, to be more like 60 degrees at least the best I could do with my triangle on the screen uh, but so um, 60 degrees and that typically be top and bottom and notice that on the uh, top side uh, is the quarter inch uh, depth and uh, on the bottom is the three eighths and that uh, doesn't matter how how obviously the material has to be uh, thicker than the three eighths plus a fourth but uh, um, it, it does not those one quarter and three eighths doesn't have anything to do with the thickness of the material although they may have been selected because of the thickness of the material maybe one inch uh, they have been two inches instead of one inch they might have been a half and five eighths or something like that so again that's the kind of complexity uh, that, that that you might see this is probably not low-hanging fruit but it's a medium kind of a kind of a thing okay and then uh, this is one where um, uh, talk about this L dash P, and I've just kind of used a bead because that would be uh, kind of the uh, the thing that you might see as a skip kind of a well, uh, and it's a field well. And notice that the um, uh, the uh, flag is upside down; it's on this side because it's saying that uh, what you want is is it on this arrow side. This is kind of two long two long pieces, and you're going to to put this weld, sort of a skip weld, along here instead of a solid. Um, 
And so what, what that really means, the two and the six, and that could be inches or centimeters or millimeters or some sort of dimension. But uh, all I wanted to show you was the first number, the L, represents the length of the weld, and uh, the um, six represents the center to center distance of the wells. Okay, so that's how you can specify specify those kinds of things. Okay. Well, I think that's about all we can do with weld symbology. I think you're going to get, if you get a weld uh, symbol problem, I think uh, you've got all the information here uh, that you need. So, uh, uh, as always, uh, we uh, appreciate you allowing us uh, to help you uh, prepare for this exam.